the tool heads crate box called the box cleaner. Now I'll show you in a separate video clip after I show you the cleaning process with this. But this Zolox hand cleaner is actually pretty god dang good stuff. All right, let's check this stuff out. <clears throat> now, I haven't cleaned a box like this before, so I'm just gonna spritz and I don't know. Let's see what happens. Am I gonna do anything special here? Oh, unlock. Uh huh. Oh, it's like a mist. I'm using the microfiber rag we got too. Oh yeah, it smells nice. Shit. Oh yeah, there's a good grease spot. Or a chip. Or a chip, yeah. Well, it seems like it works pretty freaking good. Yeah. That stuff does smell good. It does, right? It's like yeah. coconut, almost like a tropical punch or something. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? Two things. One, a pina colada. Oh, yeah, yeah there and we go. Two, some fine little tan babe <laughs> on the side of the beach or the poolside. Two <laughs> uh, story. It works really good, too. It appears to. Yeah, it looks like it takes It's something. taking the grease off. Right, right off, yeah. Works better than the freaking Windex. I said, remember, I was sitting there scrubbing for a good time. That's why I don't clean my box very often because it yeah. just takes so freaking long to get all the grease off. Like five those five minutes later, it looks yeah. the same anyway. It's no, like shit. those guys with the uh, Harley motorcycles that spent three hours doing all the crumb. Well, that's because it rains so god dang much they can't ride them. <laughs> or it's freezing cold, right? Pulling up the shine on the drawers too, actually. It's making that chrome pop out. I can dig it. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, and I was like, not really one for cleaning my box. And to be honest, I get more 15W40 and 530 on it than anything else. But yeah, I'm kind of impressed with this stuff, to be honest. So. It's not a lot of work. I don't, I'll have to look it up. I don't think it costs a lot either. A few bucks or something. Yeah, it just freaking eats it. We're gonna try this Wet Hands First Zolox hand washing cream and just see how badass it is. Okay, greasy hands, I'm showing you. It's gritty. It kind of feels like you stuck your hands in some sand or dirt. And you're just kind of rubbing that dirt into your hands. Let's get a good feel for it though, shall we? Alright, let's see. That's some pretty good stuff. I missed a spot. I missed my thumbs. <laughs> stuff works pretty good. Two thumbs up in my book. Freaking clean hands, clean arms. Good job, Zolox. All right, so a few shout outs for the video. One, a shout out to my boy, Snap Mac. Thanks for the beer koozie, brother. I appreciate it. Two, a shout out to Mr. Rust Belt Mechanic and JRC54 for hooking it up with the Tool Heads Crate Box. That thing is great, man. I don't know where you guys come up with the ideas for these things, but look. I tried the Zolox hand cleaner out. I think it's a phenomenal product. I'm actually going to look into it and see how much it is to buy it in bulk. So everyone seems to love it at the shop. I just brought it here to kind of show it with the video. But there's a 1-800 number down there. And I'll put the number and website down in the description as well as links to their channels. And uh, you know, the hand, the toolbox cleaner I wasn't too sure about because like I said, I've got gloss black and I've got this matte green. <laughs> But look, we used it on Shane's box and it just wiped everything off. It smelled nice. Everybody loved the smell. If you couldn't tell from the video, uh, brings back some memories, I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, at any rate, cheers to those of you that have your beers. I hope you're enjoying almost the end of your work week. One more day, baby. One more. Friday's tomorrow, thank God. Hell yeah. All right, today's discussion topic is going to be about 
how do you guys feel about junkyard poles? Because I just got done re-stabbing the second transmission into this Pontiac G6. I know, right? Fly like a G6. Like a G6. Okay, not like the airplane, but the Pontiac version of it. At any rate, pretty fly car if you ask me, but overall I wasn't too happy with the fact that the transmission that I originally got from LKQ didn't work out. The transmission pump was whining and making all kinds of noise, so I had to pull it out again. Wait another week or so for them to re-deliver us the second transmission. Of course, they warrantied out because LKQ is cool like that. They actually do have a nice warranty, so I'll give them credit to that. But I think in the last two years, I've probably had a half a dozen returns as a result of either pre-dropped and damaged transmissions, uh, lifters that were destroyed underneath the double overhead camshaft. This was on a Chevy uh, Malibu that I did an engine job on. This other transmission had a whining pump sound. And then I had two Audi transmissions also for the same freaking car. They were absolutely no good as well. But I think that was the fault of Audi itself, not so much LKQ because Audi is like notorious for this torque converter code. So wouldn't you know it, every transmission that we stabbed in it ended up having the same dang code after we got done filling it up and running it within a 25 to 50 miles. So needless to say, I think I stabbed that Audi transmission a half a dozen times before we finally got it down to where it functioned. So yeah, that was kind of a nightmare all on its own. Uh, I've also had a couple of engines that, well, no, I'm not engines, transmissions that were not the exact match. So even though it came out of like a Ram 2500, it was slightly different. And so there was some kind of compatibility issues. So we had to wait for a replacement to come in that actually matched the one that we took out. But I want to get your guys' thoughts on this. Look, I know a lot of people are going to say, always go remand or get a long block or short block if it's possible. Absolutely. If you can get a long block or a short block, that's like the best way to go. However, some of us don't always have enough money to be able to pay for a job like that. So a junkyard special is usually the first option for most of us at that lower poverty level. So at any rate, I think that the uh, junkyard special is actually a pretty good idea and you know what it's well worth the gamble yeah you might have to spend a little bit of extra labor time you might give up a few extra hours to get this job done but you're going to create a customer for life for getting it done for them for a fair price a price that they can actually afford but I want to hear your guys' stories what do you think about the junkyard specials what are your thoughts please share your thoughts and opinions on junkyard specials have you had issues with them would you prefer to do a long block or a short block and you don't think of anything else? Or are you a junkhead just like the rest of us where, hey, a junkyard specials for me, man. That's what I can afford. I'm willing to stab it in, give it a shot, and if I have to pull it again, well, it's worth the extra added headache to save a half as much. So let me know down in the comments. I appreciate it. Also, make sure you go down and check out JRC54 and Rust Belt Mechanic because they're super awesome guys, dude. I love those guys. Uh, their, their tool heads crate box think like I said it is it's better than sliced bread man that that's an awesome thing that they got going on I'm starting to learn about products that I never knew existed so if nothing else you guys get a chance to actually learn about some new chemicals tools things that you never seen before you can actually put them to the test and try them out yourself for a very low price I'll put the link down in the description you can check them out they'll let you know how much it costs and then there's something about a golden ticket or once a month you can enter uh, for a chance to win something of over $200 value. So I think it's a great thing. Thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Share if you want to share. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers and deuces.